The Girl from the USA, sung by Irving Gillette, Edison Record. Hello again. How's it going? So, like many other people, during this pandemic, I applied for unemployment as I was furloughed from my full-time job. In doing so, I was given like twice the amount of money that I made at my job. Instead of saving all of it, like a normal person, I decided to shop. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'm not saying the American government is good at all, but this is one perk that I was very happy about. Also, the pandemic is not good and I'm not celebrating that. I'm just grateful to be able to survive. And because I was staying home, as everyone should have been doing, I wasn't working, so I didn't have to dress comfy like I ended up doing. Now that I'm home, I can be back to my normal self and dress all vintage again. Aren't we all happy about that? Which is kind of the opposite of what most people are doing. A lot of people are taking this opportunity to dress comfortably. Since I've worn like all vintage, I've gained a little bit of weight, just a little bit. So I can't really fit all of my old amazing pieces because I was very depressed back then and was a very, very low weight. Can't wear those, but I want to still wear vintage and blah, blah, blah. here we are, I'm buying stuff. <laughs> and this isn't all clothes, this is just going to be a collection of all of the vintage things that I purchased during this pandemic. The first thing is actually this amazing rattan picnic basket style suitcase. It's huge. I actually found it on my birthday and it's amazing and it was $5. So all of my vintage goodies that I'm gonna show you, apart from one really, really big one that I'm saving for the end, are inside of here. I'm making you taller so you can't actually see. So I'll start with undergarments. I did purchase quite a few of those because I thought I'd misplaced one of my favorite sets, which is right here. But I actually did find it after I bought all of these, but that's neither here nor there. The first piece that I found was this. I undid the straps because the straps were like for a child, probably. So I'm gonna add some elastic bra strap material to the end so I can actually wear it. It's this beautiful 60s, it looks homemade kind of bullet bra. I thought it was just really, really beautiful. Look at these little embroidery details and the lace. I wanted to keep the original straps because it is the same material. There's no clasps, it's just like this mold elastic. I just thought this was too pretty to pass up even if it didn't fit. I believe this was $18. I got it at Held Over Vintage in Hate Ashbury, which I love because they're so cheap. This next one is like a true bullet bra. Just a basic white one for $5. It smells old, I love it. I will say none of these bras are actually my size. I feel like bra sizes keep changing, so I'm just getting whatever looks like it might fit. I'm a 30F, so it's kind of difficult. So the third undergarment piece I got was also on eBay, was also $5. It's this little bustier, and then I found out that it was from the same seller, so I got both at the same time. It claimed to be 1950s, and considering the shape, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that, but it's just in really good condition. It doesn't seem that old. Okay, this next one is the one. I'll throw all these in the freaking fire just to keep this one. Not that that would be an option. It's from 1947. It fits me like a dream. It looks gorgeous. This is my pride and joy. I got it at my favorite vintage shop, Relic Vintage on 8 Ashbury. I love it. I wore it under all the dresses that I tried on and it just made everything look amazing. I also got a couple of slips from Decades of Fashion on Kate Ashbury. I just had like a vintage Kate Ashbury shopping day, so. So I got this white slip, just got some little eyelets, flowers embroidered at the top. I actually wore this as a top um, with a cardigan and a little skirt right here. <laughs> and I also got a basic nude slip. Nothing special about it, just cute vintage one. They were both $10. <laughs> so that's all for undergarments. I'll move on to accessories. So also at Decades of Fashion, they had some bins full of little scarves, and I love little chiffon scarves for your neck or your hair. So I got one in yellow and white. Those will go with most of what I own. They had like every color that you can think of though. Uh, <laughs> losing things, <laughs> it's a big pile. 
I also lost my pair of pearls a while ago. This is the second set of pearls that I lost, so I found another one at a charity shop for $8. Be nice for little fancier looks. Also went to Urban Ore in Oakland. It's like this giant warehouse thrift store. Surprisingly, didn't get anything except for this little tiny brooch. So it's a little moon, kind of like the one on my arm, but it's like my favorite color. And there's a little green in there and a little yellow. I just thought it was really cute. And it was $3 and it's made of ceramic. So it looks homemade from the back. I really liked it. Now my favorite section other than dresses, purses. So firstly, I went to Arizona, my boyfriend, Sean, because that is where he's from. And we did like a very, very cautious drive down there. We had so many gloves, so many hand sanitizer bottles, so many wipes. And in this little town called Bisbee, where he was born, we went to this two-story thrift store that was open. And I found this amazing 1960s handbag. I'm in love with basket purses, as anyone would know that knows me, because I have like 500. Sean actually bought it for me. So I was very, very, very excited. And that makes it extra special because it's from my love. And it goes with like everything. I love this purse. The second purse that I'm equally excited about almost, cause, not really because I bought it myself, so it's not as special, but oh my God. This is the most gorgeous like 40s, 50s handbag I've ever seen. I also found it at a charity shop and it was 50% off. And the best part is inside, it comes with a mirror, a tiny little comb, and a matching coin purse, which I put the coins in. It, it didn't come with the coins, but they each have their own little slot. Oh, it's just, I believe this was $24 after the 50% off. I misread the tag and I thought it said $20 and it was gonna pay $10 for it, but I was, I was wrong. But I'm happy to pay 24 for it because it was just, Ugh, these might be my two favorite bags of all time. One is perfect for day and one could be day or evening, which is like amazing. I ordered a dress on Etsy that I will show you shortly, but it came with this little handkerchief and it has all these little embroidered flowers. The shop owner folded it and placed it over the folded dress in the package and I thought that was just really cute. I might keep it in one of my purses. So I haven't personally bought any vintage shoes during this time, but it was my birthday recently and my friend Rue knocked it out of the park. First are these 1960s black satin bow pumps with a sling back. Are you kidding? They're so beautiful. And it's so funny because on my birthday, I was wearing a top with a giant satin bow here and no one could have known that because I bought it that day. Okay, this next pair I'm like so excited about. Oh, look at these. They're like a little wedge and they also have a satin bow because obviously, but these are from the 1940s. They're darling. They make me feel like Teresa Terrelson from L.A. Noir. May she rest in peace. I'm like almost afraid to wear them too much because they're so old, but they're in amazing condition. They don't make shoes like this anymore. They just don't. So thank you, Rue. I am truly blessed. I guess we'll move on to separates. I only have one of each. I got this secretary blouse in my favorite color and it has a necktie, but look at these buttons. These are the most beautiful buttons you've ever seen. Unfortunately, it appears this was made for someone without a bust, for it squishes me down. I'm determined to find a way <laughs> to make it work. Next up is this amazing for screen pleated wool skirt. I just loved this color. It was obviously too big, so I actually moved the button so that it would fit my waist, and now it's perfect. I wore it in my last video if you watched that. This color goes with everything in my closet. I believe this is the first thing I bought in this haul besides the purse that Sean got for me. I think it was $8 or something. Time for the finales. I actually just got this one the other day. It was on the dollar rack. So I was like, 
Heck yeah, but it wasn't actually a dollar. It was put on the rack by someone else. But it's this really cute, basic A-line dress. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's actually from the 1970s. I really liked it. Polka dots are just a happy, they're a happy print. And this color is amazing. Funnily enough, the brand is Shelly's Tall Girl for over five foot seven. I am five foot three, but it was able to land at a very flattering length. This next one is a tragedy. It is gorgeous. It is affordable. It is from the 1940s. Look at this. Oh, I absolutely love it. The color, spot on. The waist, perfect fit. Everything about this was perfect. And it was only $62. However, I wore it on my first day back to work. And without my knowledge, both armpits ripped. I thought it was only one. Then I was just folding up all these clothes for this haul and saw that the other one was also ripped. So, oh my god, like I don't know how I destroyed this. I'm hoping I can find a seamstress or someone that can take on this task. The grand finale of the clothing items is next. This item is my biggest splurge probably ever actually. <laughs> like this is the most expensive piece of clothing that I own, but I've never looked better in a piece of clothing in my entire life. I'm pretty sure it was tailor-made for my body. I also got this at Relic Vintage, and I am friends with the owner, and he knows me too well, and he's too good of a salesman. But I told myself this would be my birthday dress. I like to get a vintage dress for my birthday every year. I will say how much I paid for it, just to be transparent, but I'll show it to you first. <gasps> I'm so excited about it. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful in your life? I am not a print girl. I'm just gonna say it, especially like loud prints like this. He picked it out for me and I tried it on and it looked like this in the fitting room. I had to get it. It's a 1950s Kamehameha brand dress made in Honolulu. Not a lot of people know, but I actually grew up in Hawaii and my dad was born there in the 50s. So this dress was made in Honolulu in the 50s, just like he was. It's just so perfect. It's just perfect. I love, I think my favorite style dress besides shirtwaist dresses is like spaghetti strap. Um, as for the price, dad, if you're watching, this is where you cover your ears. It was $350. That is the most I've ever spent on a piece of clothing. I'm pretty sure. Maybe anything. <laughs> Actually, I like bargains. Obviously, most of these things were very, very cheap, but I decided to treat myself with this most beautiful dress I've ever seen. I'm not even like a hot pink person, but I don't know. This just, it works. May not be everyone's cup of tea, but I love it. Also, it pairs perfectly with my new purse. I love it. Now, I don't want this video to send the wrong message. I have done a lot of saving. I have more money now than I've ever had in my entire life. I'm still paying my bills and my rent and saving and I'm, I am working again. So I don't want it to seem like I was just like, mm, heck it, let's just spend all my money. Obviously that was a very expensive piece. And other than that, the dress that has all the holes in it that was $62 was the second most expensive thing. So typically I like to keep it very cheap, but I just got really excited about wearing vintage again and trying to find things that fit my new body. I'm probably gonna get rid of a lot of stuff too, so if you follow me on Instagram, check my stories and stuff like that for when I'm gonna be posting stuff to sell. This is my Instagram if you're not following me, because why the heck wouldn't you be? As for the true grand finale, that is not clothing or accessories or anything like that, it is a 1960s stationary bike. For some context, I have been a lot more active during stay-at-home orders, so I wanted something that would make exercising at home very easy, and I mentioned to my boyfriend that I wanted possibly to get a stationary bike for my apartment. But I didn't think I would find the one made for me. Everything about it is perfect. Um, the color matches everything in my apartment. The fact that it is vintage. It works perfectly. It has an odometer on it and it's had 15,000 miles already ridden. 
instead of sitting around watching TV all day, I can sit and move my legs and watch TV all day. We were thrifting the other day and we were in there for maybe two minutes and Sean came to find me and said, I found something you're gonna want. And I freaking lost it. I immediately went to the till and said, I'm buying that. And he's like, you realize it's $50, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm buying it. This is by far the luckiest, coolest vintage find I will ever have in my life. Anyway, that is it. It's a lot, I understand that. Or for some people, this may not be very much at all. I just wanna leave by saying I am very, very privileged to have the opportunity to shop right now as a lot of people are struggling. So I am very aware of that and this is in no way me flaunting the fact that I have all of this money. I just wanted to say that really quickly. I just love vintage and I'm really excited about all this stuff that I found. Thank you so, so very much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. In these dark, uncertain times, I really wanna try and bring some joy. Let me know in the comments what some of your favorite vintage thrifted finds were. And if you liked this video, stick around by subscribing. Cat fur. <laughs>